Uh oh, here comes another one. All right, uh, I'm just gonna hide behind you guys. Um, just gonna pretend that I'm not here. Yeah. Go, sharkles. Take out the bad sharkle. I'm sick of all the sharks. Hello everybody and welcome to the building of the shark gate. Uh, this is I guess a kind of behind the scenes video for my dolphin daycare video which if you haven't seen that I'll put a link up about here. Uh, so as part of my base I have a lot of aquatic animals and um, I thought it'd be nice to have a safe place in the bay to put them. Every so often the odd shark will wander in and it makes it pretty annoying everything moves to attack it. I come back after logging off and everything's moved around so uh, there's a hammock gateway in the bay that my tri tribe mate uh, Avalok of Enasia and Avo has kindly built for me. Uh, I haven't saved up enough for the actual gate. This gateway costs a boatload so here I am uh, thinking that I'll just put down some fence foundations and start figuring out how much it's going to take to actually build this thing. Um, putting down fences on land is finicky at best and I'm not very good at it as you can tell. Putting fence foundations down and trying to get them to line up underwater is nothing short of a nightmare but with enough patience and oh, just fiddling fiddling left and right, trying to get it to snap forward, I figure I will eventually get a straight-ish sort of fence built. Now there are going to be gaps between these uh, fence panels inevitably because like you can see I'm really not good at all at putting these down. But as long as it can keep a shark out, um, that is the main goal of the fence. Also I'm building this fence out of wood, uh, I know it's not very durable. But the idea is that if I keep all the animals, sorry, the dinosaurs far enough back, they won't aggro the sharks to start off with. So it's more of a non-aggro fence rather than a not attacking fence. Um, so I'm going to speed up the building of the foundation and stuff here. Uh, and I will be back with you in a bit. Now one thing I haven't talked about yet was just the sheer amount of wood that was required to make this fence. Uh, as you can see from what we've seen so far, there's seven wide on one side, but on the other side it's actually 11 panels wide. And uh, each wood fence takes 40 wood, as well as some thatch and fibre. So that's 18 wide. Fortunately it's uh, not the same height all the way through, but you'll see there's quite a lot of fence panels. Uh, so a big shout out to Anasia and Evo for providing a whole stack of wood that went towards the fence and made it so much quicker than chopping down entire forests for days on end.
Alrighty, so the big day is here. After grinding out mountains and volcanoes and forests, we finally have the gate. So, let's put the gate down. It's so shiny. So shiny. And then let's get back to work. Um, for some reason, this panel placed looking the other way around and I mean it's underwater I don't really care I'm not gonna destroy it and replace it over and over to try and get it to look good there is a pretty big gap here but I'm pretty sure it can keep a shark out so let's uh, build this up a little bit um, put down the rest of the fence panels that I brought along with me and we'll see if we can actually drive the shark through it or not get some air because I don't have Lazarus chatter on me today woohoo I cannot drive a shark through that hole I mean I should have sort of thought of that before but uh, let's get back to chopping down forests and then build the rest of the fence Joining me in the creation of Shark Gate, let's give it a good testing with our own shark. I don't think any sharks can get through that. We should have a beautifully safe place to bring up all these dolphins in the dolphin daycare. And uh, yeah, our work here is done. 